hey what's going on uh, it's me and uh, welcome to my channel for this video I will show you how to uh, wirings a two-way floating switch and also I will demonstrate and uh, show you uh, how it works and uh, I hope uh, you like this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell so that you'll be updated on my next video so we have an uh, outlet here uh, this outlet is uh, represent as your uh, main breaker or uh, main outlet and uh, we have a two-way floating switch here and the uh, orange one is the uh, represent as your roof tank switch and the black one is your downstairs tank switch first thing to do is uh, we need to separate the one line from the main breaker or main outlet it doesn't matter if you uh, separate the line from the left or from the right and now we move to the floating switch and uh, also we need to separate the ground or the earth from the floating switch because uh, we will not use this and uh, I need also to separate the ground or earth from the uh, from our second switch uh, so that uh, must be better to be understand the wirings and uh, first to connect is the two black wire from our uh, switch and uh, that color is uh, that is the neutral uh, from that switch and uh, next uh, from our main breaker or main outlet uh, connect the one wire into the roof tank switch the roof tank switch the color red is that is the live wire from our uh, switch and last one uh, from the downstairs tank switch uh, the brown one uh, that is the live from our switch and connect to the uh, main breaker or uh, main outlet So that is the proper way on how you wiring a uh, two-way uh, floating switch and uh, I will show you also and uh, demonstrate you how it works but uh, before that uh, I need to cover first the uh, open wire for my safety or safety reason and also I prepare some question here uh, for uh, for example the question is uh, what if the two tank is empty does the motor is still running and uh, what if the tank from down is empty and the tank from up is full does the motor is still running uh, we figure out what happened uh, uh, and uh, I will demonstrate about that I will show you So this is now the demonstration uh, about this uh, two-way uh, uh, floating switch, how it works. Uh, we have a question a while ago, uh, what if the two tank is empty, does the motor is running? And uh, the other question is uh, what if uh, the tank from downstairs is empty and the tank from upstairs is full? Does the motor is running so it means look if the floating switch is facing like this means to say the tank is empty if the floating switch is a facing like this means to say the tank is full so the question is what if they are both empty it's not running what if the tank from downstairs is full? Mm. 
So, if they are facing like this, they are both full. What if the tank from upstairs is full and the tank from downstairs is empty? The motor is not running. What if they are both empty? The motor is not running. Water from downstairs is full. Motor from upstairs is empty. They are both full. If the tank from upstairs is empty and the motor is running and the tank from downstairs is uh, almost uh, out of water. So look. So that's it. And I hope you like this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell so that you'll be updated on my next video. Thank you.